Hey gang, it's your old pals, Uncle Hank and Kippy. Just want to thank you for tuning in to Are You Garbage? Yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe. That way you get the episode as they come out. And you can also go to gasdigitalnetwork.com, use promo code AYG to get bonus content and get the episodes before they come out and HD streaming. Do it. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Mm -mm -mm. (laughs) I tell you what, a couple of good-looking fellas right there. (laughs) Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast, this is Are You Garbage, the show where we sit down with your favorite comedians mm-hmm. and find out if they grew up classy or if they're absolute trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day here at Gash Digital Studios, <laughs> the East Village, New York fucking city. We're coming back, baby. We're taking the fucking city back. We're having a fucking fantastic fucking time here. My co-host, my mm-hmm. good pal, sitting a little too close next to me, wearing his favorite local band shirt. <laughs> He's the brains behind the operation. He put the whole fucking thing together, gang. You know the drill. The next time you're reaching for a best pal, you make it a kippy. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Hey, gang. Happy to be here. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, I also like to, when you go into host mode, just, you, you black out and just say, ah, oh, beautiful day here. I do. There was literally a tornado about an hour ago. <laughs> beautiful day if- here in New York City. There's buildings collapsing. I don't even know if I said my name. Yeah. you go. He goes into host mode. I do. Uh, it's weird. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Please. Uh, the, also, full video available on YouTube. You can subscribe there as well. Also, you can go to Gas Digital, get the full catalog of our show, including episodes with Andrew Schultz, Mark Norman, Joe List, Paul Verzi, Bobby Kelly, mm-hmm. fucking the who's who. So get on that. Shane Gillis, Matt McCusker. So go check it out. Use promo code AYG. You save a couple of bucks. We wet our beak. It's a fucking <laughs> ecosystem of fucking... It's a pyramid scheme of podcasts. It's like a Let's murderer's do it. row of trashy dudes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's like, Christ, is there anybody in there that uses a napkin? <laughs> Gang, that voice you hear is our incredibly special guest that we could not be more excited to have him here. Uh, this gentleman is a comedian, a writer, and an actor. He has appeared on Last Comic Standing, oh, yeah. Comedy Bang Bang, <laughs> Comedy Knockout, Night Train, has his own Comedy Central <laughs> Presents mm-hmm. this week at the Comedy Cellar. I've been on all those canceled shows. <laughs> Conan, Shane Torres <laughs> conquers your fears. And of course, he has an album out, Shane Torres, established 1981. But the big question in everybody's mind today is he garbage? And I got to tell you, it looks like he can get us anything from bank blueprints to illegal fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Shane Torres, everybody. Good to see you, boy. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Thanks for doing the show. He right. does look like the guy that has the plans to the bank. You you do All look right. like the guy whenever some, like they need an easy thing in a movie of like, I need, I know a guy who does this, and it just cuts to shame out mm-hmm. back of a supermarket. Well, like, to be fair, this whole room looks like we're all auditioning for a casual XL mail commercial. <laughs> 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 Pants that fit. I'm on, I'm on the petite side, though, a little bit. Oh, the my God. <laughs> so I'm a petite, casual XL kind of guy. You're a middleweight at best. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Shane! Thank you so much thanks for having me, boys. Man. How thanks are you? for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, tell Any, us anything to pass the days. Right oh now. man, it's brutal. Yeah. I told I told was telling our producer Don. I was like, I, beginning of the pandemic, I was this close to buying a fucking PlayStation, just being like, fuck. God, it. so close. I almost did the same exact fucking yeah. thing, and then I was like. This is good. This is really going to open a bad hole. Yeah, yeah that's a yeah. that's a that's a bad turn to come. That's a hard one to come back from. Yeah, because then it's just going to be that, and then a heart attack. Because like <laughs> I know I just eat and snack and yeah, then play like yeah. FIFA or whatever. Fucking for... forty dollar lunches getting delivered. <laughs> oh to the god, door. Yeah, she, it's like ordering from the same Indian place twice in one day. <laughs> <laughs> that's what killed Gandalf. Well, like, I got the tikka, but I want to try the korma. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <Let's run laughs> another back. round for me and my friends. <laughs> Extra yeah. non bread. Send it over, yeah, yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us the backstory. Tell us, uh, you know, the origin story. Where did you grow up? How did you grow up? Give us the whole story. From the south, right? Uh, Texas, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, okay. Fort Worth. So, like, south side of Fort Worth. Um, uh, let's see. My mom was an Irish immigrant. Uh, oh. Father was first generation Mexican American. Maybe okay. second. It's a little. <laughs> it's a little hairy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that on the QT these days. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, it was uh, two brothers. I went, 
I'm pretty sure I'm trash. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like not stopped, not because you I stopped in the middle. Of I like I really like my mother did the best with what she could, uh-huh. considering okay. like. You know when you watch basketball and you're like, man, that they weren't that good, but that coach really fucking coached them up. <laughs> really polished yeah, them up, yeah. Yeah, my mom, like, she really did the best with what she She had. was doing two-a-days. Yeah, yeah, time. oh, yeah. It was, it was just like she was working night shifts and, like, then, like, coming home and waking us up and then... You know, then I'm yeah. like, well, I'll just go do drugs at Kevin's house. <laughs> <laughs> drugs at Kevin's house. <laughs> uh, so grew up there. Um, what's it? I mean, my mom was a nurse. My dad like was a salesman, whatever okay. that. A vague yeah. salesman. I yeah, love like it. he sold stuff. Mm-hmm. Like he he would have shit from different jobs in the garage. Like <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it would just be like there's industrial cleaning supplies. Yeah, it's light bulbs. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, and then like here's roofing shingles. Yeah, yeah. And it, it was. Yeah. He was always just worked in sales, mm-hmm. I guess. But um. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's like Texas, we went to high school in a pretty small town called Crowley. Okay. Uh, when I started high school, my graduating class was supposed to be around 700 people. Mm. That's a lot. Yeah, a well, class. but when, when the, by the time we were done, <laughs> no, really it was thin about like 250, 300. What? Well, shut up. It was like, it was pregnancies, oh, moves. 500 drop, kids? Lots of drop. I mean, like bad, dude. Like, Holy like was it drugs? Shit. Like, was it? No, I mean, shit. some for sure, but yeah. like, just like, they don't. Like, it's just like, it's a shit school system anyway, so people just drop out. I'm going to go work. It might not have been that, I could be inflating the numbers a okay. bit, to be honest, but like, it was like, Drastic. I, yeah, it was, I remember it being like, this is like 40% of the kids. <laughs> you know, you're like, Geez. anybody see Larry? Yeah, like, what the yeah, fuck? yeah, it was very like, 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 oh, you're the first wave. I yeah. don't like, take, go take the beach and we'll see if you get through oh, this. Yeah. <laughs> I was a pretty shitty kid growing up, but I've always been amazed by the people that dropped out of school or the ones that got kicked out of school. Yeah. Well, both my brothers were expelled t- twice. Wow! Yeah. Twice. For what? Uh, well, uh, stuff. Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mind your, yeah, yeah. Mind your business, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just go to Arthur Avenue and start asking around about. Yeah. God. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, that's great. Hey, what you guys? I don't get come to your TVs gated from? community and ask your Subaru dealer about. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> hey, stuff. Hey, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it's stuff. You know, <laughs> people get in trouble for stuff. Dude, uh, I did that one time not realizing. Uh, I did a show in Long Island City, and I thought, and then I went, I live in Washington Heights, so I went yeah. to Washington Heights, and there's this, like, weird go-go bar, kind of. It's very tight. It's, like, very, uh, you know, it's a bunch of, like, I like the drug dealers hang out there and stuff. Yeah, yeah, this is the bar where, like, they go be social, but really... Yes. find out how to like sell drugs yes yeah. and my buddies from the neighborhood who so was like oh meet me there so i walk in and i i see this guy i'm a little tuned up so i see this guy who i thought was just at the show and i'm like were you just in long island like i was excited and i'm like were you just in long island city he's like what the fuck did you say to me i'm like oh i got nothing i'm sorry i'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no i've never been to yeah. long island city hey did you go to temple yeah, 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 yeah i was yeah. like yeah yeah what an idiot it's but uh i'm sorry what i would say uh yeah, there was probably like half of the kids to forty percent down. Yeah, like that's wild. Yeah, no, no, but like you know, we also split high schools too at one point. So that probably a, a number. Yeah, yeah, but like it was like it was a there was a significant amount of people. You were like, this guy's not making it back from the war. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah, a lot of kids in. Like I look back at that I knew, and I look I look at their parents. If I ever met them, I'm like, this fuck, that poor bastard never, never had, had a shot. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And it sucks because their parents never had a yeah, shot, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We yeah. had a couple of kids like that. In our neighborhood, is, it was like a middle-class neighborhood. But there's varying degrees of how people take care of their homes and stuff Yeah, like oh, yeah. I mean, we're, I would say we were like middle middle class to lower middle class neighborhood. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. There was a kids that lived down at the bottom of the hill. And like when you're a kid, you don't really understand it. But like that was the – like he was the house that they were – he was allowed to build a fucking half pipe in the backyard. Yeah. And like you'd walk in – and there'd be like a couple holes in the wall, no parents around. You could like yeah. smell the the, the the kitty litter. Yeah, and, and shit like that. Like, I wouldn't eat over always here. Ha- yeah, and they always have like, why is all your juice like not juice? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's like the Chappelle purple stuff uh-huh. kind of. Yeah, it's like, a lot of high C and shit. Yeah, like yeah. That. You're like you're like yeah, like this <laughs> this fucking this guy just got like assembly. Like he got all he got was Tetris pieces for lunch. And, like, <laughs> yeah. and they're like. Here's a frozen burrito. Here's a high C. <laughs> Make it, it work. Yeah, yeah. Like it was that kind of shit. Yeah. You look back on this kid. You're like, damn. You yeah. They're, they're fucking. fucking they're usually shot. pretty nice kids. Yeah. Too. Yeah. But have you ever seen that um, show Catastrophe? No. Mm-mm. It was really good. Um, but it's uh, fucking what's Rob, the guy who had the infamous bomb on Kimmel. Uh, Delaney. Oh, Rob Delaney. Yeah, it's his show. Okay. 
but there's a oh, scene. I hear it's great. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, really yeah. good. It's fantastic. Is that the one set in London? Yeah, yeah, yeah where he okay. gets an Irish girl pregnant yes. and they end up in London. Uh, but there's this like great scene where his because his dad's a piece of shit, and he go and he like there's a scene where he goes well he goes uh well I didn't he meets his you see his dad and his dad's kind of like well. I beat the shit out of you less than my dad beat the shit out of me, and you don't even hit your kids, so it's all going in the right oh, direction. No shit. Yeah, and Jesus. that's like that's how fuck they think of it, though. Yes. Yeah, you know, like it's like, yeah, it's going in the right direction, but mm-hmm. this is it's not still a direction. An issue. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still swimming, and the boat's <laughs> drifting away. Man, There's still like, scars. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, still scars. yeah. But that's the best they can put it, which of is course. also pretty fucking sad. What brought to, what brought your mom here from Ireland? Oh, she's a nurse, so um, I guess in the she probably came over in the early 60s uh, about that, but maybe mid-60s. I'm honestly not sure. Okay. Uh, but it was when Fort Worth, where I'm from, which is next to Dallas, mm-hmm. uh, was starting to become like a pretty big city and having a lot of industry come into it, and they needed medical professionals. Gotcha. And so they hired people to recruit uh, nurses from all over. Wow. And there were a bunch of them in England. You know, like... Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then coming to the States at that time was like a big deal, too. Of course, so, yeah. Like, yeah. So there were a bunch of... So if you go to Fort Worth, you will, and you meet like a seventy-five-year-old woman. There, if they have an English, Irish, or Scottish accent, you will probably you could ask her. I bet you half of them are at least nurses, nurses. Yeah, or work in sense. medicine. Or yeah, it's that's, interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, yeah and yeah, was she an old? Was she typical old school Irish mom? Yeah, like she was. Yeah, she was mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah no. Well, like that's you know, where we come from. We yeah, both come from yeah, a long line of that. Yeah. Are your folks? Are your folks? Uh, Born here, but we're 100% yeah. Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my mom was from Carkinlish, which is outside of Limerick. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, very, like, extremely. Like, like my, uh, like her aunt, my aunts are over there. I have, you know, uncle that was a priest that was over there. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like oh, I have, wow. like, like super Catholic. She super, probably yeah, loved yeah. him. The, 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 when the, somebody in the family became a priest, that was like they became a fucking rock star. Yeah, it was, it's just so weird. Yeah. But like, so strange. But it was interesting because my... In my mother's family, uh, my uncle was the only man. So, and then my grandfather had died years before. So, when he decided to become a priest, my grandmother was like livid about it because there was no caring on the name. Oh, yeah. yeah. But so that was kind of like, well, yes and no. You know what I mean? Like, if there'd been another boy to do it, it probably would have been been great. But yeah. But then also, my dad went to seminary for a while and he got kicked out. Uh, there you but, go. <laughs> but um, you got kicked out. But my grandmother was like thrilled about it. Right, he, he was, go- you know. So it's, it's, you know, one fuck. I don't know. Yeah, I could have never been here. Yeah. yeah, that's fucking wild. Yeah, yeah. that is funny. Yeah. But yeah, but super Catholic, you know. And you were raised super Catholic. Yeah. Um, my parents got divorced for before the confirmations happened. But uh, <laughs> the confirmation <laughs> sucks, though. Yeah, it's like it's it's all da- after the communion. It's the communion is the down only down. one you're like. That's the Super Bowl. Yeah, because like, you, got, you a get a suit. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, we always talk about this because I grew up around a lot of uh, you know I had a lot of Jewish friends growing up. What do you remember? What you made on your communion? Do you remember what, what you pulled I, in? I think I, I think I made cake. I think I like it was not <laughs> like a th- you know like it was not a it wasn't it really wasn't like a big yeah like. My little brother, my, or my older brother, I'm sorry, because my uncle was a priest and he was in, he was as, his church was in London where he was stationed or, I don't know what they do with priests. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 two tours over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had a residency. <laughs> yeah. Fly me to the moon. He's a special <laughs> engagement in London. <laughs> Three nights at St. John's. Come down. Father yeah. Torres. Check yeah, it you out. Got, you want to... <laughs> <laughs> Adding show Sunday. Uh, <laughs> Doing meet and greets uh, and shit. <laughs> but my brother, my mom wanted to take us over to see her sisters, and we were really little. So my brother had his first communion in Ireland, and then Damn. my uncle uh, presided over it or whatever. Wow. Yeah, yeah, fucking gave old it, school. Yeah, but we yeah. always and say then that. I just got like, let's yeah, just get the you scraps, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's yeah, get through yeah. this middle child. Because we always say that. Like I was born uh, in upstate Pennsylvania, so we, I didn't have any what Jewish part? friends. Uh, Wilkesbury. Okay. Yeah. yeah, been there. Um, and then when we moved down outside Philly, you know. I had I had a bunch of Jewish friends and I'd gone to communion. I got like fucking maybe two hundred bucks that I never fucking saw. And then I would go to my buddies' bar mitzvah parties, and they're fucking rolling in fucking you know Siegfried and Roy, <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. twenty <laughs> grand in cash. 
I feel like that with the Catholics, we get ripped off on that. Shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's really about the money. Like I like, you know. So maybe I'm not it's garbage. Not, yeah. Uh, yeah. No. You, yeah. That was. Not, <laughs> we've talked about this with so many people, and you were the only person. Who's like, yeah, man, it's not about the money. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> hey, it's about Debbie, bringing sister. down the church. Watch it for all. <laughs> It's about taxing them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went to one bar mitzvah. Like, yeah. but growing up, like there were like, not a ton of Jewish kids yeah. in high school, clearly. But like, uh, I went to Alex Seltzer's bar mitzvah. And that shout was, out to Alex. Yeah, nice guy. Took me to my first concert. Cool dude. What was it? Uh, it was Edge Fest, which was like the radio stations, like. Gotcha. All day. Yeah, 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 they're always yeah. so trashy. Oh, buddy, like buddy. The, the big the, tailgate, the, the Z ball or whatever it is, jingle ball. Oh yeah, it, and like and you're like, hey everybody, it's me. Ryan Rex and Cindy Skull from 971. <laughs> We're out here at the fucking fest. Yeah. Give it up for Parade of Losers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, dude, those things are those things are like those things are they're like awesome, state but they're sad. Also, yeah, 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 but they are the state fair of like yeah. concert because you're like you there's always one local band that's yes. getting an opening spot. Oh, yeah. And you're like, these are our guys. And yeah. you're like, you look back and you're like, this is some dog shit music of the ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for yeah. I always feel bad. Every time I went to a concert, I felt so bad for the opening act. They would never have like the amps turned up that yeah, much. Yeah, there's never like they always have like a shit run most of the mm-hmm. time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Especially yeah. in amphitheater. Like, yeah. Oh, there are people still, everybody's still funneling in. Yeah, you can yeah, see no people tailgating outside yeah, still. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, <laughs> my buddy uh, was opening for uh, a, he's a, comic but he was opening for this huge act in an amphitheater mm-hmm. outside of chicago and he just goes he comes out and he was like and he's from chicago and he's like a big comic himself but he comes out and he goes uh last time i was here i saw uh i saw Lollapalooza 95 and jesus christ was it terrible and then some woman in the front goes fuck you that was an awesome show <laughs> <laughs> and it was just like and he was like all right all right good song uh, okay. 19 minutes it's left, gonna be right. the longest 20 minutes i've ever yeah i love blind melon uh, yeah, uh, yeah you know, i actually do love blind melon so do i yeah shannon hoon he was yeah. a great songwriter yeah apparently he was a great wrestler oh they really see about him yeah he's apparently he was a really good athlete like huh. He was like an Iowa guy, so like wrestling's big sport yeah, there. So yeah, yeah. yeah. big but fan apparently... of the H too. Yes, <laughs> H Foley. <laughs> <laughs> Who isn't? Yeah. Shout out! All right, let's get into some fucking are you garbage here. Okay. Uh, we have to tell a you how I had taquitos from Seven <laughs> yeah. Eleven. Yeah, he already he already he already tipped his hand. He said he had three Sorry, taquitos. They don't have an endive salad for me yet at the bodega. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. 7-Eleven doesn't carry barata cheese. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm sorry all the babes that listen to this podcast. <laughs> Dude, we, we have like 98% males from yeah. like 25 Oh, no shit. Yeah. yeah. And dude, we talk about this a lot. I'll yeah. tell you something. Those fucking taquitos. Oh, the the best. Best. <laughs> who's making? I gotta them? ask. This is this is even part of the part of the. I bet quiz. your listenership just looks like Reddit. <laughs> oh yeah, it's big. Um, what flavors did you, of taquitos did you go? I I, I go I, I go smorgasbord. I always pick of one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I like um I think my favorite is the um chicken like uh the buffalo the, or buffalo, buffalo's good. Buffalo's great, yeah. but I like the Monterey. More. Monterey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Monterey's got the most most. Most flavor. And buffalo is just kind of buffalo, especially yeah. if it's been there for a couple the... of weeks. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. T- tell you what, though, you throw a little Monterey Jack cheese on something, that fucking really brings you up the bring real some estate. Pop. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It really yeah. Makes Get a little it... bit of that red pepper. Yeah, a yeah. little yeah. fucking Monterey Jack. Good night. Yeah. yeah, you shouldn't have told us about the taquitos. Uh, yeah, I'm already one down, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, what, 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 is, the object, is the object to be come out as garbage or not come out as garbage on this show? Well, here's the thing. You know... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's still in definition, all right. There's there's bad garbage and there's good garbage. You know what I mean? It's also how you embrace it. Yes. Too. Like if you right. like you're coming in like yeah I'm garbage and it's like you're not trying to hide anything. It's yeah. just like. But also like that's just a good salty treat that I had. Like, <laughs> oh, it's delicious. Oh, buddy, we're a big taquito family over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, big, yeah, big. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Taquito and a Slurpee, man. Whew. I wanted to do a Slurpee, but I was like, let's one one thing at a time. Uh, when was the last time you had one? I had one maybe like a month ago. I haven't had one in forever, but that as a child, that's I asked oh. for a Slurpee for machine for Christmas once. 
That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and my dad was like, they're so expensive, there's no way you're yeah, getting it. Yeah, they're thousands of dollars. And then, and then like 300 bucks a week to maintain yeah, and yeah, keep yeah, it on yeah. the whole Just time. so I can get a fucking, so I can be a little even fatter kid with no lateral movement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Slurpee machine. I like how he thought, too, like he would just come down in the middle of the night, it'd be glowing in the kitchen. He'd be like, ah, oh, yeah, take, yeah, take yeah. a medium Coke, please. Yeah, I just wake up my dad to pour me one. I want, I want the full experience. Yeah. <laughs> Blue well, raspberry again? Yeah. Let's go! I Have you guys been... Since everybody's open drinking right now, uh-huh. mm-hmm. have you been enjoying the fun summer of frozen drinks? Is what I've, everybody has Slurpee mach- or Frosty machine, yeah, right? and I'm fucking all about it. I have been too. They give me too much of a brain freeze. Too, they, I drink them too fast. Yeah, but the place I do my show at, Good God, mm-hmm. we're doing it on the roof. They have a pina colada masala, like you know the Indian spice masala. Wow, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and it's also it's like there's a lot of coconut in Indian food, so it yeah. actually makes perfect yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah. I put down like four of them last week. I, you know, when you just know, like, I have a sugar hangover. Oh, and that's the worst the, the part about them. Yeah, yeah. But a fucking ice cold, yeah. fro- a strong ice cold frozen margarita. Oh, better. get the fuck out of here! I'll take you to some places in Texas. You'll get the best margaritas you're fucking. Like. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I yeah. Fucking love I, f- it. I, now, they make them pretty, some pretty good spots all over. But like, I still feel like Texas has the best fucking margaritas I've ever had. In my life. Makes sense. Are they all frozen or do people? Do I mean, them they on do. The rocks? We do them on the rocks, but like yeah. people do them. Fro- but like, it's just like. I think it's like an essence thing. You like you have the patio, sure. and there's like it's all Christmas lights and shiner box signs and chips and salsa ah, and like, a little mezcal. Oh, thrown yeah, in there. and you're like a mariachi band and that yeah. kind of stuff. And like, and you're just bullshitting, and you're like, yeah, we're gonna do a fucking another. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll do it. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 fucking you just go, best and you're nachos, and then at the end of it, you're like. I am so much fatter than I yeah. was before. Let's I go get some down. taquitos on the it's, way home. You're fucking, you gotta have a good night snack. It's so funny when you're in the like when you when your body's in the right mood and you feel it and you have that first drink uh, and you know yeah. that it's gonna be one of those nights where you're just fucking blowing through every red light. Yeah, and it's fucking let's get fucking hammered. Yeah, that first one when that shit hits you, you're like it's it's yeah I'm getting fucked up. Tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very much just a like a. Yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Clear I want to do. Like, I'm like, I'm not thinking about tomorrow. Like, <laughs> yeah. Last Wednesday we did the show on the roof, and I ended up getting shit faced, and that ended up in some stranger's backyard at like <laughs> three in the morning, and we were and like, it was late, and we were just talking about John Prine for like two hours, and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, no, and I was like, six o'clock news is his best song. Listen to it. You're not hearing me. Yeah. <laughs> shit. It's always bad when you end up in like coke conversations without doing blow. Yeah. You know what I mean, when you're <laughs> yeah. just like talking oh, about it was some, some way, obscure it was thing like, for it was, hours. It was that kind of intensity. And then yeah. I like threw on my headphones and start walking home. It's like three blocks away. And I just like was listening to John Prine and like walking through the streets like with a beard. Like, yeah, this is fucking New York moment. And then you're like, nothing's open. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the wildlife are moving back into the city. It's <laughs> fucking dicey. Uh, All right. He's fucking sidetracking. I know. Us. Let's go. Let's I like this technique. He's I deflecting. I, guys, I like it. I just it. want you guys to know how I use mayonnaise for deodorant. Or <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not Miracle Whip, you're all right in our book. Yeah. What's yeah. your verdict on that? Since you brought I like out. Whip, but I'm a mayonnaise guy. Like, I like, if I had to pick, I don't ever think to get Miracle Whip. You know uh-huh. why? Because it's too much of that flavor. Like, like I don't want that all. I want that on a sandwich every once in a while. Right. I don't want it enough to have, like, a big fucking the jar of it. Of it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. Very yeah. good. Oh, that's a point right there. Yeah, we're very anti- Miracle uh, Whip is I don't want this liberal mayonnaise. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, st- some of the standards here, uh, some of the basics. Uh, what was the name of the street that you grew up on? Um, well, I grew up on... Two streets. One of them was called Country Manor Road. Ooh. That sounds pretty classy. Anything with a manor in it. Yeah, seems, that's seems top not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess it does, but it, it, it was fine. It was <laughs> not top <laughs> notch. <laughs> and then um, the other one was on Dante Drive. Dante Drive. On Dante, which is like a, it means a, a rapid pace. It's like a musical term. But that's I, pretty classy. Holy they sound like shit. fucking gated estates. Yeah. Okay, so my neighborhood was like a subdivision. Okay, that turned into not a nice subdivision. <laughs> like, you know, like, do you understand? Like, like, like ah, been, that. Like when Marty McFly we didn't really came get back. the strip mall around here that we were hoping for. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> On Dante Drive. That's, that's, pretty that's pretty classy. Um, was it a single family home? Yeah, or like a, yeah, single family home. Yeah, like it was just a. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a regular. Um, yeah. Did you have a garage? We did have a garage. Was there a refrigerator in that garage? Freezer. Freezer, not freezer, bad. Freezer. Not bad. Uh, at different points, garages. Uh, the garage had a fridge in it. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah inside yeah. that fridge was, like, 
uh, mom's Diet Cokes because she would take them. Okay. She would have one at work. Mm-hmm. Uh, my, there wasn't a lot of drinking in the house. Oh. Uh, okay. Like, uh, and then like it was always just like random shit. I would remember like somebody would be like, put it in the outside fridge or put it in the garage, yeah, you know, yeah, the garage yeah, fridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it would just stay there and then it would just turn into bed. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that like, definitely like, happens for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Meat yeah, stays in the freezer like, for And they'd be like, go years. clean out the fridge. And you're like, ah, oh, God. Oh, and you turn it off. I think this was a banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. smell too. Every garage yeah. fridge smells exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. Brutal. Like wet, damp butter. Mine yeah. always just has water. Yeah, it's very like, yeah, it's very, ugh. Rancid. It always yeah. smells rancid. All then, right. So we'll give you that. Garage fridge is a big thing on the podcast. <laughs> Having a garage a, fridge. It's a cheap person. Men- it's like it's like a it's a poor person mentality kind of, or just like a trashy thing because it's like when nobody ever buys a second fridge for the garage. It's always just like a leftover. Yeah, like somebody so when they found want the just, trash. Somebody, I'm buying a new fridge. Does somebody want this fridge? Yeah. yeah. Some people go like, oh, I got to take yeah. it. It's is big it, and it's you know. Where are you a, from? Right? We're from Philly. You're both from yeah, Philly. Both yeah. Outside, yeah. Philly. Yeah. So is that a Philly thing? It's a big suburban thing we're finding out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I also find like it's a Midwest big. thing, like because you would just like we would just sit in the garage oh, and like yeah, lightning storms, rainstorms. Like you just kind of sit out there and bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. smoking cigs or drinking yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I like sit, that. Dude, we used to have some some of my buddies had couches in the garage. Like, yeah, that they would find in the trash or whatever, and you just post up and hang out there. Yeah, my Sitting grandfather was like very organized, but he had a fridge in his garage. But even everything looked like it was in a convenience store in the fridge. Oh, you know, yeah. that's that's what we're talking about. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> that's a clean bunch living. of fucking beers, some sodas, some Capri Suns, yeah. a couple ice pops for the kids yeah. in the freezer. Looks that's like an episode living. of Cribs. <laughs> I like the fucking sitting watching the storm. That's fucking. It's great. nice. It's nice, yeah. especially like you don't see the appeal in it when you're ten, but you do when you're like oh, when yeah. you're getting out yeah. of, when you're about to leave where you're from. Sure. And then also like when you're older, and you're just like I just don't want noise mm-hmm. like around me. <laughs> sitting listening to the thunder. I, I remember as a kid, we sat, we set up chairs the one time. We were like probably thirteen or something. We set up chairs in the garage, and me and my four friends just each picked like to argue over something we just took points to it like i think the best guitarist is hendrix and yeah. someone's like no clapton even if you didn't really think that we just argued and i'm like maybe i've been a comedian this whole time just like, <laughs> yeah, people sitting like, around this is the arguing. dialogue i have all the time <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like that's why i enjoyed it so clapton and hendrix so what are you you arguing with your dad I'm like this <laughs> fucking we were in a classic rock man jesus more of an al jolson guy to be honest with you <laughs> uh, all righty so we got that we got the garage fridge what was the name of the grocery store that you went to as a kid, that your mother went to. Do you remember? Mm. Well, there are a few. Okay. Okay. Walmart is like a go, of course. But Ooh. yeah. There's an Albertsons. Which Albertsons is, like, is good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? There's yeah, also a Acme. company called Food Lion. Oh, I've heard Lion. Food Lion. Yeah. But they, Food Lion got in trouble in the 80s. Yeah. And they didn't last long. In it. <laughs> yeah. 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 They, yeah. Because they were just like, we don't clean our butchers. <laughs> like, yeah. they, is that what it was? That, that they were, were rewrapping meat. Yeah. That was a big part. And they weren't like, they just had terrible, like, standard, like, Jeez. practices. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, that Food Lion was like the dog shit one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Food Lion is the one who got turned into a giant Goodwill. So, yes. like, that, ah, that's the, what you were. remain at, what did you see? <laughs> When you cease existing, what your remains become is a big indicator. Yeah, whatever you get like, reincarnated as. Yeah, yeah, kind you're of like, you're is, like is oh, oh, this whole blockbuster is a tax repair shop, and also, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's always so trashy. There's a, they moved the Burger King in my town from one building to the next, and they left the structure there, and uh-huh. then it became a uh, like a dry cleaners, which nobody went to. Because yeah. why the fuck are you? Get, it's like you're getting your clothes dry. Because they have a drive-through. Because <laughs> yeah. that's true. Like I said. Yeah. yeah, easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of real estate. Everything though, smells flame. My friend flame used to royal. work at a dry cleaners, and they used to rob it fucking blind all the time. That's interesting. <laughs> For money or clothes? Anybody? Uh, both and both, yeah. and services. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Did I remember the one time? Because if shit got left for a while, you were like, I'm fucking. I'm oh, yeah, for it. sure. Yeah. And then money was like, people would pay in cash, and you'd be like, it's $24. And they'd be like, it's 25 Here's a tip. And then we just put 20, yeah. 25 bucks in your pocket and tear up the ticket. <laughs> oh, that's great, scam. dude. That's the best. Yeah. Running a scam at the dry club. They were, I, yeah. I fucking... That's new level garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that's... It was right outside of a gated community. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like poor kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walking <laughs> around in sequin shirts. Yeah, yeah. Like, look at me. I'm Bill's dad. Yeah. I'm Rich Bill's dad. <laughs> My um, mom looks like what? <laughs> That's uh, dude, I remember taking my clothes into a dry cleaner one time, and the guy was so excited about this new shirt that I just got that I'm like, this guy's totally going to be Still wearing my shirt. shirt when I walk out of here. And I took my stuff and I left. I'm like, dude, there's no way. I'm... He was like holding it up. He's like, oh, this one's nice. Where'd you get this? And I'm like, 
You're getting way too friendly with that's that. That's like fucking that Seinfeld notes. episode where he catches him at the movies with, yeah. a, with the tech in his pocket. My mm. best friend Davis, he worked at that dry cleaners, and the guy who owned the strip clubs in town would get his shit dry cleaned <sighs> there, and he like he dropped it off. Like it, people always leave shit in the pockets, and he Davis was like, he goes, he runs out, guy gets his clothes, and then he just like runs out chasing him and goes, hey hey hey. He goes, you left this in your order. And it was just like a bag of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> bag of blow? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would have been disappeared, I'll tell you. Yeah. Well, in Philly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take that home, split it up with the family. Yeah, yeah. Six is lost again. <laughs> 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 ah, it's too good. Uh, all right, I got one. All right, so the grocery stores, that's pretty respectable. Albertson's good. I used to work at Albertson's. What are some of the, the trashier ones you've gotten? Giant's pretty bad, which you might not know. There's yeah. Some, yeah. The East Coast Key one. Foods is tough. Key Foods is not a great establishment. But what the we Key fa- Foods near me now. Yeah, well, yeah well, it also <laughs> shows you kind of your neighborhood that you live in as well. Yeah. Yeah. Key Foods are individually owned, we found out. So they're uh, just a franchise. So it's a franchise. So you can get really nice ones. Like there's some really nice ones out People in Queens put money and stuff. Into, yeah, yeah, like City Fresh is kind of that way too, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But like the real garbage answers, if like you hear somebody say like a, you know, like a single a single store operation, like, like Ned's Mag- or something, Rubers yeah. Yeah. or yeah. something yeah. like that, like Dave's Grocery. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. <laughs> get a shop right and keep it moving. <laughs> and they say like baking soda, baking flour, same, same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Have you ever owned a George Foreman grill? I have personally. Yeah, I have. Not, not growing not, up. Not, not growing, growing up. up. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I made real good use out of it. Oh. If you grew, if you grew up with a George Foreman grill, <laughs> if you were, stop talking to your parents. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> yeah, if you're, yeah, if you were cooking <laughs> they've, Sunday they've dinner on you, the Foreman, they've done you. They've done you no favor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We did have an equity sandwich maker. What is which it? was pretty trashy. It was like one of those things you order off, off, TV. off TV, and it looked like a, looked like a waffle press. But it was to put two pieces of white bread, ham, and cheese. And then it had, like, the thing that, like, smushed it down. It gave the bread, like, a little bit of, a, like, a flower design on it. So we thought it was classy. Yeah. Well, that's what you do. That's well, What else are you going to do on Easter? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pull out all the stuff. i got to make 900 small sandwiches. <laughs> My mom did that one time. Did you, like, she was this, like this like... bouquet of sandwiches. <laughs> There's cream cheese. Just in fucking yeah. craft singles and yeah. fucking yeah. How do you feel about the craft single? It's it's not good solo. It's never like I don't like it solo. What do you mean? Open I it agree. up and pop and yeah, one? Yeah, I, oh, I completely I agree. Disagree. Yeah. Yeah. No, both that, these that tastes like the color orange. Yes, like that. it's like, like, it's it's like you feel it's so processed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's like it tastes like like. You know when you look at somebody on the bus and you like you look at their feet and their ankles and you're like that that's all shiny. Yeah. You're like that's what that tastes. That's like. A, yeah, but yeah, that's exactly. like this is like it's, sweating out a lot of lunch meats. Yeah, <laughs> god. But yeah, no no, I like it. I I'll take it on something like mm-hmm. in a trash sandwich. Oh, but yeah. it's usually it, you can't put craft singles on like a good Yeah, it's got to be meat. melted. Like you know like yeah, like it's got to be like ham cheese, may, maybe turkey, yeah. sure. or bologna, but you can't like be like oh like if I have like so per set or like a nice cure. No, you can't. Sure. Yeah. So You're like, if it can't, I'm telling you, if it can't go it. with something nice, then it is not nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'll give exactly. you that. Yeah. yeah. You're not putting fucking. Crap Very well said, on. Mr. Torres. I'm going to put sandwich. these twenty thousand dollar rims on my fucking <laughs> <laughs> Subaru. But if you're making a fucking uh, grilled cheese with some white bread, yeah. Yeah. But it, I, even then, I'm like, I need more. Like, how many slices will you put on a? Re- how many slices of craft singles will you put on a white bread grilled cheese? Two. 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 Oh god, I need, I need more than that. It gets really? too it gets too gooey though. Yeah, I That's need I need three. I think I need wow. what? Because like I like I'm like this is already bad for me, and this is not enough. It's not filling enough for me. Like oh. yeah. I, I might try three next time. Interesting. Yeah. Trust me, you what gotta do your, a trifold. What was your go to cheese growing up? Like what would your mom buy? <laughs> a block of orange. Yeah, like, really? yeah, yeah, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, because my mom she she grew up like uh, you know it's dairy farmers a lot of them in Ireland stuff right. so yeah. like. Just good cheese and good butter was not like even available yeah, in yeah, her yeah. comparison. Was, right. Yeah. You know, so like it was. This is like there's no carry, a lot of there's no carry gold butter in Fort Worth. Texas. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> not like, you're like, you know. Yeah. Shout out it's, to carry gold. It's, it's country great. crock. It's crock is in the title for. Ooh, Fox yeah. you were a country. Were you croc margarine family? or butter? Both. My had both. Yeah. 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 Very oh, interesting. Yeah. You guys whole whole two percent or skim milk in your house? Come on. Mom's fucking house. It was... I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> Come in here, fucking embarrass us on our own show. <laughs> fucking hole or two. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I was. Mom's I, don't even, house was... I don't ever even think we went to two. Like uh, you were whole all the way through. Yeah, dude. Love it. 
Yeah. Now we're gonna we're gonna say we only put end. it in cereal. I would never drink milk. I think that's fucking disgusting. Thank you. Thank what? you. One of the big questions on this is uh, growing Dylan's up clapping. Growing up, he ate he would drink milk with dinner. And he still does. He'll sit down and have, have pasta or a lasagna and a glass of fucking That's Super fucking Sen. insane. Thank what? you. Get, get out of here. Ed. It's That's... very decisive on the podcast. There's fucking a whole... This is divisive, this is... not decisive. <laughs> divisive. <laughs> the, he's that... drank too much milk. He's all hopped up like 2%. Divisive, not decisive. It's decaffeinated. I guess it could be. I guess it could be decisive, really. It's yeah. Decisive in his head. There's team milk, and then there's no team. Milk. Team yeah. milk is an already a disgusting. And, but, for but hold it's on. A bad team to be on. Hold on. This is interesting. All right, because he says he loves milk. He's a whole milk. Uh, first guy. of all, I didn't say I love milk. I said I had it with cereal, and I had whole milk. Yeah. yeah. He said he would never drink it. Yeah. He said he doesn't no. just drink it. That's what I'm saying. He puts it in his cereal, but he doesn't drink it. But he likes the whole. Oh, that... it's an ingredient. Oh, uh, yeah. I am a whole milkman. That throws, that throws me off, though. Yeah, I no. can't believe that is crazy to right? me that you'll have like a something as heavy as a pasta dish. People and then wash around it the country yeah. love it. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a big. Uh, thing. Is that a, is that a thing people do? Oh yeah, dude. This, this is so literally the, the most. But I mean, I'll have iced tea with pasta. Like, so that's also weird. Probably no, yeah. that's not that weird. And I'll say this: listen, full honesty, you're presenting. As a gentleman here, okay? Yeah. Not liking milk with dinner, I would say, is a Plus, gentleman thing. Yeah. All right. Not going to score any points at me. I'll yeah. tell you that, <laughs> no, buddy. Went down a couple of notches in the personal Foley book. All right. I'll see you on the B60 bus. <laughs> <laughs> the milk with fucking pasta is fantastic. No. It does seem like it goes together, but it just seems like so much. I'm not... It's not the flavor thing. I want to be clear. It just seems like it's too much. It's a lot. See, I, I never... It seems so heavy to me. You know when people say, like, I like it, but it's too rich. Yeah. I've never met anything where I was like, oh, it's too rich. Or Jesus. too sweet. Really? Or too sweet. Yeah, I don't care how thick the lava cake is. It's never too rich or thick. That's crazy. I don't me. even get that concept when people say, I'm not going to have that because it's too heavy or it's too rich. I fucking That's how fat I am. I don't know, man. That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's the level It's not a fat. taste thing. The genetics have taken over <laughs> at this point. <laughs> It's oh, Darwinism uh, <laughs> at this point. That's it. Just seems so intense. But I also overeat like crazy on certain stuff too. So what's your go-to? If it's Mexican food, I'll just I'll punish uh, it. Like, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's like, so good. It's like and it's the most snackable of all like cuisines. I feel like what because you can always like I'm gonna have another street taco. I'm gonna have more chips and queso, yeah. more chips and salsa. Chips what? and salsa and chips and guac don't even register as part of the meal to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, that's just... I put I had to count them in my calorie thing, and it's always uh, terrible. I have a question about that. You go out to you go out to a Mexican place. They bring out the drinks. You're waiting on your food. What's an acceptable rounds of chips and salsa? For me, there is no limit. Right. Like okay. Uh, like but. I'll probably go through two rounds, mm -hmm. pre oh. the entree, mm -hmm. and then I'll be like, Give, bring some more chips. I want to... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. dude. You got to yeah. clean up the plate a little yeah, bit yeah, or whatever yeah. you got going. But yeah. That's my biggest gripe. When they try to take the chips and salsa away when the fucking entrees yeah. come, no, 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 no. Yeah. I want to fucking... Yeah, like, you, you, what are you thinking? Yeah, yeah. and then I want to take that salsa and pour it on my shit. That's my favorite. Yeah, there like, I like... Yeah, and I fucking smash salsa like crazy. There yeah. we go. All right, now we're getting fucking he's somewhere. He's pretty classy. Yeah, I he's pretty say. classy. He's pretty like classy. This is like, like, like I want to <laughs> like know. The... I want to know who was like, you guys are like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a like, lot. Right Ari... now, I'm like, this is not a behavior that's like acceptable. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you seem pretty straight-laced in that sense. So it's logically, far. Yeah. logically coming to conclusions. Yeah, I don't even have Velcro on his shoes. He's practically a Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. <coughs> let's see. So while we're on food, let's say you're at your local mall's food court, right? All right. I Hanging out. One. Yeah. And, uh, you worked at a food court. Yeah. Oof. We'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> After a long day of shopping. Put a pin in that. It's dinner time. Where do you get, for one place, where do you get dinner? Fuck. Okay. So what's your go-to food court spot? I'm, oh, I'm, I'm picturing the Hewan Mall food court in my mm -hmm. head. Uh. Well, you know what? To be fair, why don't you hit us with what kind of array we have at this particular yeah, mall's food court? Heidi's frozen yogurt and ice cream. Okay. Hot dog on a stick. Hot dogs, yeah. Always uh, a hot dog place. Like there was a Philly sub place. Okay. Uh, there was a pizza joint. Mm -hmm. Same. Sparrow? Same like kind of like a Sparrow, but definitely not. A, it was called Cazzoli's. Okay. Which is not. But it was like, this is also Texas. So yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. not sure. going to be like, Sparrow's would be like, Good pizza. Gourmet pizza. Like back then, yeah. Yeah. Really? Chick-fil-A. 
Nice. Uh, Frulati, which was like a smoothie place. Mm-hmm. Okay. Opa, which was the Greek place. Oh, a Greek, a Greek place. Greek place. Like, the, wow. But like Greek, like souvlaki and like like, euro. like mostly euros. Okay. Like, yeah, but mostly still, euros. For like, a for a mall. That's pretty good. That's pretty yeah. good. You're missing one that usually is everywhere. And then um, there was probably a few kind of like um, other like random places like that would turn over. Rotating yeah, places. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. no walk and roll? No Chinese? Panda Express, I think, is what we had. Yeah. Panda Ooh. Express? Yeah, I think that's what, wow. I think is what we had. Is this a fancy mall? No. <laughs> I don't know. Panda Express. I go there for fucking Thanksgiving. That's yeah, fucking... but it's for this is further west. Panda Express comes from the west coast and like movies. True, so, so yeah, okay. it's a little less uh, yeah, yeah. less special. Yeah, less pretty sure it was Panda it. Express that we had. But All right, was, so uh, that's what we're working with. I'm... What are you leaning towards? Oh, and Flamers was the burger joint. Ooh, Ooh that sounds like a good. Let burger me tell you joint. something. Flamers ain't too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> they know their way around a flame grilled burger. I'll tell you that. I, I'll probably say one with Cazoli's, the pizza place. Mm, always, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because like pizza's still always kind of good. Like, yeah, even when a dollar slice is still better than a dollar version of any of those other things. One hundred percent. A dollar euro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some fucking corners Just on a that. A cup of yogurt. <laughs> Dude, I'm one big on the cucumber. pizza. Can't be. There's like I've eaten. Fucking... There's incredible pizza, and there is pizza that is a bad version of it. But, but it's, it's still, still fucking pizza. Yeah, man. but it's like a. I'm like, because also when I was a kid, when I would go eat at a mall, mm-hmm. bargain is is king. So like, what sure. you're spending, if I have five dollars, right, more is like what is valuable yes. yeah, as yeah, opposed yeah, yeah, yeah. to yeah. So so if there was like three cheese slices for five bucks, Ooh. yeah, you, in a soda, that's what you did. Yeah, yeah, you're for going sure. for that. Dude, yeah. those and the the slices yeah, at fat. the mall are huge. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're massive. Big. Yeah. You get the big fucking yeah. tray. Yeah, they're ter- hanging over the side. Yeah, you pull up at a dirty table. Yeah. Fucking forget those guys were amazing. The the father and son. I ended up working for him. The father and son there would like toss the pizza dough back and forth. They were great at it. Oh yeah. really? Could yeah. you do that? Uh, I could start. I could stretch dough, but I wasn't very good at like. The, the at one point, I could like toss it up a little, but I was not like very good. But they were. Like, uh, Mo and Boz uh, would like do it, and Mo and Boz, yeah, and they would like, throw it behind their backs and stuff to one ah, another. That's pretty fucking good. Yeah, mm, and they were shabby. Super mean. All right, is that an acceptable answer? Would so, you yeah, say? yeah, 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 for sure. You never go like go Derby pizza? Dog or the fucking you know. Hot dog was weird. Yeah, you, the like, fun hot dog place? at a mall. Nah, yeah, I'm not no, doing it. I go Chinese. That's what I do. Yeah, I Chinese. Chinese is great because yeah. you also get variants. Yeah, which is like of course, and you're always like. Yeah, do I have enough for the egg roll when you're twelve? Yeah, you're the math real quick. Yeah, you're like, what's the tax? What's going on? Yeah. Like, I remember one time I was, like, ordering. A, I was like, how much is a doc- medium Dr. Pepper? And they're like, it's, like, $1.50. And I was like, well, how much is a medium cherry Coke? And they're like, it's it's size. It's not, like, it's not gold and silver. It's not, like, <laughs> he's not charging for all 23 flavors. Yeah, I'm just like, Pepper. I just want sugar water. I don't care which brand. It, just give me a taste. You got a discount if it's diet? Oh, what's the deal over here? You know what? I Especially yeah. as a kid, if I wasn't sure what it was going to come out to, like, because, like, the total, like, I would... Leave the soda out, and then find out if I had enough change afterwards. Ah, uh, you know yeah. what I mean. Be like, oh, well, I do have a dollar seventy-two. You know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Can you add a small coke today? Yeah. yeah, I forgot that I wanted a drink. Yeah. I knew the whole time I wanted a fucking drink. <laughs> oh, why don't you throw a drink on there? <laughs> <laughs> Take a little something for yourself yeah, yeah, too. You're a good kid, huh? You nice get yourself a Fanta. Yeah, this fortune you. works out for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back yeah. by the whole joint. Uh, um, okay. Let's switch gears a little bit here. Uh, Raised Catholic. Yeah. All right. Christmas, big thing. Uh, yeah, pretty big. I think. Yeah. Would like, you Would you go? How would your mom do the decorations at Christmas? We do a tree. You know, like it's always the same decorations. Like, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Course, yeah. You yeah. don't like. We They're were, from the seventies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we had. There is like I would say it's pretty really like we had a manger scene like it was more like family shit religious shit than like this is a big massive fucking Christmas. Sure. Like, we had stockings, but that was like it. nothing was crazy as okay. far as decorations. Was the manger scene outside? No, it was inside like a okay. small. Like, so table. you didn't set up a manger scene out in the lawn? No, that's garbage. That's the weirdest. That's shit. the oh. weirdest, trash. Oh, you ever shit. seen like the live mangers? Those are so oh, weird. So weird, dude. <laughs> we used to like go steal Santa Clauses all the time. Yeah, right? for sure. We used to set the reindeer because they people like reindeer got big at one time. Like yeah. they were fucking, and we'd set them up like they were fucking, and yeah. we thought it. We would just like oh, get a shit. joint it's and then brilliant. set reindeer up like they're fucking. It was the funniest thing in the world. My, would your mom do white lights or colored lights? Colored lights. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's trashy. Trashy. Just letting you know. White you is so? the more subtle. A hundred percent. I think the elegant. white ones, are, they, 
It's not that they don't look nicer, mm-hmm. but they also look staler to me. I'll they give look you that. like for sure. They look like don't touch this. Like that's what the white ones look like. I'll give you that. I'll yeah. give yeah. you that. We always went. That's one thing about my mom. Give it up for Blinking her. is trashy. Oh, blinking. Oh, come dude, on. Blinking we wouldn't even icicles? have you in here. <laughs> <laughs> we already knew that. We yeah. did research. Dude, yeah. blinking they got the front door. <laughs> blinking? Blinking. Come oh, on. God. Fucking get out of here. Did you guys here. have a nice neighborhood where people really went nuts on their Christmas trees? There was always a couple neighbors? of places, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. there was always one big house that, like, yeah, people yeah, would drive in places for miles like, around. Like, uh, would just go, like, a couple of neighborhoods, and they were just, like, this neighborhood called, like, Interlocking, I think is what it was called. Okay. And it was just, like... Everybody was trying to outdo everyone in spinning. Yeah, shit. you could get garbage with that. Sure, it gets Griswoldy. Yeah, when yeah. I, when I think, but Griswoldy, they don't. They never seem. They never seem garbagey to me. The Griswold. No, no, because it was his intent. He just he yeah, wanted yeah. like Big. pure fun. It yeah, was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know. Plus, he made a little bit of cash too. He had a good job. Yeah, yeah. Clark, Clark. had to pay that electric bill. Yeah, Joey, it's true. The Joey of the Month Club gifts her too. That's right. <laughs> but I always thought I was bought a Griswold jersey last year at a mall. Like oh, a really? jersey? Yeah, because they had a Griswold Blackhawks jersey. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. He wore it in the movie. Yeah, yeah. I almost right bought one. I was like, this, this is like way too much. I can't spend two hundred dollars on. Yeah, those jerseys. I don't even have a wife to get mad at me for spending money. That's funny. <laughs> I always thought it was real classy. The first neighborhood that, that where I was born, what they would do is the whole neighborhood, you had to get everybody together. They put the sand and the candle in a brown paper bag, yeah. and they would light the neighborhood like that. We did that. That's a fucking classy. We still think, do that. I always think that reminds me of like Arizona desert trash for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Arizona <laughs> it, just, it seems very like, I don't know, like Christmas, our... our <laughs> Energy's at a premium here. Like we, can't, we can't have any more brownouts. Go start, go start so a, like they just like we're just gonna like we're gonna put sand in a bag and yeah. light it on fire. Go light the bushes small on fire. Fires yeah. in the yeah. street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, how how's that ever happened in Arizona? <laughs> That's funny. And would you guys open presents Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? One present Christmas Eve, the rest Christmas morning. Very yeah. nice. We Fucking all, classic. We would have people over on Christmas Eve. Like my parents would. Like, we would make tamales and stuff like that. So mm. Very. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, they're very Texas kind of Christmassy stuff. That's so. awesome. Yeah. I love I love because we have like such the traditional Christmas, you know, Northeast growing yeah. up. So it's like anything that with... always seems so foreign to me as a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Christmas ham, you know, like it's like yeah, it's, it's like so a tr- weird, yeah, it's strange thing to me. What would be your Christmas day? Well, I, I guess turkey if we're going that road, but like tamales are like like a like a a gift. Like sometimes, like okay, so, like you will like make a bunch of them and give them to people. It's like. It's very That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, and like they're great. A lot of effort goes into them. They're hard to cook. You know, yeah. it's a very. I'm digging that. Yeah, we there's a lady that always. sells them. There's a trade fair on 30th Ave and 31st Street, and there's a woman that sells them out of a cooler Saturday and Sunday morning for like two hours. They're gone. They are fucking unbelievable. They kill them. Yeah. Oh yeah. my. You ever God. been to Chicago when the tamale guy shows up at the? At no. Those, if you're doing like any of the indie shows in Chicago, like tamale guy will show up at some of them. And, <sighs> Fuck, he kills them. They're really good. So good. I like that. See something. Who was the better cook, your mom or your dad? Um, Fuck. Dad was a pretty good cook. Uh, It was a a lot of times it was like, sometimes he would be like, we're having goulash for dinner, and that's just like hamburger helper with extra tomatoes. (laughs) (laughs) I'll tell you what, nothing wrong with it. I know. I like. I remember. Like, I was like, "What the fuck is goulash?" <laughs> Were you a hamburger helper kid? We had, on more than one occasion. I had. A uh, <laughs> I like. He he kind of hit the southern accent. <laughs> on more than one occasion, <laughs> really hit. Yeah, the it doesn't. It falls out of me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. he looked at you like a little lady <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah. Dipped his hat. Don't right. oh, come over here shitting your hat and call it sugar, <laughs> gentlemen. Take care. you're goddamn right. I had. <laughs> uh, what kind of mac and cheese were you? Were you Velveeta, Kraft, or store brand? I feel like it was fuck. Velveeta and shells was like, oh, man, that's a dude. That's, that's a, fucking that's great. You're a fucking oh, rich that, kid. What are you, Velveetas and shells? That was, Jesus, that wasn't. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. That's what we had at Christmas. I, I, I didn't. It was my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it was my communion. All right, jerk yeah. off. Velveeta yeah. and shells. Yeah, there's that's nothing the Cadillac. better than Velveeta that. Velveeta and shells sauce, is the Cadillac that cheese. But like, I think we were like craft and off-brand store. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Of, yeah. Cause like you know when you don't like you like you're just like I'm gonna buy into consumerism as a nine year old. Oh, and you'd yeah, be like, yeah, let's yeah. get this one. She like get that one. It's five for a dollar. Yes, dude. They and, were always so cheap. You would yeah, come home with yeah. like ten of them. Yeah. Like fuck, it's gonna be another two months until yeah. I get. Yeah. Velveeta. <laughs> yeah. I do swear by that a lot. It's funny you bring that up. Uh, like not blaming, but like one of the reasons why I feel like I do have this relationship with food that I have is 
advertising when I was a kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it really fucking got me. And, like, because it triggers, like, if I have Hidden Valley Ranch, you know, I, I go back to the commercial. And I feel like I'm in the commercial. No? Am I, <laughs> yeah. am I the asshole? Well, like, I, I, think I have it with certain things. Okay. Yeah. Like, um, fuck it. Like, when you crack open a Pepsi or a Coke and it's, like, there fizzing. Is, yeah, you, there's a thing to they it. They got I, you. Yeah, I, like, I would be this, and I don't know fucking why, but. The bakery in my grocery store would have the d glazed donuts. <sighs> God damn it, dog! There's something. And about the box that was face. different because it was like it was like a long box. It was like, and it would be like they would be stat. Oh my fucking god! I would just go. I remember like one of like my dad was like, "All right, I gotta go to work. What do you?" It was like summer, and I was like, he was like, "I'm gonna take you to the store to get some something real quick to eat or whatever." And I was like. And he got me a box of donuts and a cherry Coke. And oh. I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it does it every day. Yeah. <laughs> Still, that's yeah. awesome, dude. That's yeah. A, yeah. a box of glazed donuts and, then, like, and I a rented fucking a movie cold from the, cherry Coke. Uh, from the grocery store because they had like a yeah, movie uh, section. Yeah. That's great. Uh, and we just like went fucking nuts. There is something about being home alone in the summer. Your parents are at work. It's... The AC is pumping yeah and you're watching like fucking police academy yeah. or something like that it that, seems yeah. like those days were fucking a hundred hours long uh, yeah the stuff uh. you would do and you were just in your house and be like it's not even noon yet i mean i've had three pizzas i can't believe i used to get up before noon that uh, is crazy. Yeah. like i get up so fucking late. like getting out of bed now i'm just like ah! like it's <laughs> always just like a fucking I was like, like i was like why can't i wake up at any kind of reasonable hour. Yeah, it's tough. But as a little kid, you'd wake up at eight with absolutely I mean, nothing like to fucking do, and just be like, "I have all we're, this energy. We're I have going, all this energy. We're I running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. get to the store. Get the glazed donuts. Get yeah. the fucking Jerry Coke. Come God, back. I gotta Let's watch this it. Jim Belushi movie. <laughs> <laughs> huh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Very interesting. What was the pet situation at the Torres house? Always right? dogs. Always had dogs. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. kind of dogs? They would show up. Yeah, just random yeah, dogs. Find, yeah, you get oh, them. SPC at the uh, rescues. I think they would just. <laughs> no, wait. The, what do you mean, just show up? Like there's like a stray, and then like, nah, that's our new dog. What? Wow, that's for that's a that's an are you garbage first? <laughs> Holy stray shit. dog house! You're picking up transient dogs and having them stay with you? <laughs> Sorry, that we're like hard, like you northeasterners. We love animals where I'm from. We don't just drug in. Wait Dude, a minute. We just don't. We're, we're, we're from we don't Philly. Get, we, don't, we, don't, we don't just bet on them. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a dog loose on the street, you lock the fucking door. Yeah, you're calling the cops. Wow. Yeah. Wait, so dog? Where would they come from? Yeah, so they just find a stray. Like that's that's gotta be a that's gotta be a Texas crazy South thing. To me. That's crazy. Yeah, you could just get straight. You're like, oh, this is a sweet pup. Like it looks mangy and hungry. You just want some food, probably. You know, like would they stay in the house and shit like that? Yeah, because they like if they're not wild. They just need to be kind of broken in a little bit. You know, like <sighs> man, that is some wow, fucking good fucking old boy shit. I love it. Shit I, right I mean, there. then later on, we got a do few dogs from like my brother would come home. We had pits. We had a few pits. Okay, it's uh, nice. Yeah, and then. uh some just like kind of whatever, just whatever, just, mix, yeah, yeah. Mice, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. very respectable. Oh, no lizards or anything. No lizards. Um, no snakes. No lizards. Uh, Frogs. No snakes. No fr that shit was never gonna fly in my mother's house. <laughs> yeah, like, anything yeah. that was gonna make the house smell. Yeah. Was All not, right. Was not gonna be in the house. That's, yeah. This guy's pretty fucking yeah. bulletproof yeah. at this point. And uh, you're almost out a, of here too. We that's... did have a cat that missed. Was missing one of everything. Like. <laughs> <laughs> She was used for parts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ozzy was there. It was just like this mangy orange kind of like, oh, fuck, man. like <laughs> missing Heathcliff one of kind of cat, you know, like and just like, <laughs> like like missing an eye, like clipped ear, oh. uh, part of a tail. Damn. Yeah, like it smelled horrible. <laughs> well, that was an outside cat. But the know. stories he told when he was drunk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back as the, yeah. when he was yeah. the center service days. Playing the blues out yeah. on the porch. Uh, yeah. What would you do with the pets when they die? Would you bury them on the property? No, because it wasn't like that kind of. Sure. Uh, it wasn't like that big a play. Um, mm -hmm. uh, couple, couple we took to vets. Uh huh. Like the first dog, we buried on my dad's friend's uh, parents' property. So like, okay, my dad's best friend, his parents had a farm. And, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So we we buried it out there. But yeah, the first like one, the first family dog I remember like dying and being very upset over. Yeah. Yeah, and then we yeah we buried her out there. Yeah, and there was huh. like a, there's like a bull and everything out there. It was a very like it was like a you know like it was a kind of it's a like pet cemetery. That's a bit. sad story, but that's pretty garbage. Your dad's friend's parents' 
That's yard. a little different, though. It's Texas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a what no, 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 it's nobody from form. nobody in, from Philly has ever been like my dad's friend. Parents have a meat guy that I can hook you up. With. <laughs> you fuck Dude, pretty. My car. mom's fuck best you. friend's a meat you guy. Scum. For sorry, sure. Sorry, sorry, I'm not from Delco property. <laughs> you, you fuck. I'll, no, I'll go can't. work at the the lumber yard with all the other <laughs> trashy fucks who drink too much, who are gonna marry some woman that my g- friend had sex with in high school. <laughs> Let me yeah. tell you something. <laughs> if, my dad, my if my dad's friend's parents didn't have a fucking meat connection, <laughs> there'd be a fucking problem. <laughs> All right, point taken. It's I, a farm. It's Texas. It's different. It's not. I mean, it's not a farm. It wasn't out there fucking. <laughs> it isn't the unforgiven. Like, <laughs> like it, it's just like more space. You sure, know? No, like, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah. We used to. There was like three patches and a rusty in my mom's backyard still. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, to me, it's much trashier that you bury the dog at your. Of head. course, one hundred percent, it's trashy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I think it's yeah. very respectable yeah. and very logical. Yeah. All right. He makes it sound sorry very nice to us. Sorry we didn't just bury him next to Jimmy Hoffa like <laughs> we're fucking East Coast dickheads. Everybody knows he's in the Midwest. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the Irishman. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, uh, oh, we got to get another trash yeah. movie. Why didn't you get somebody younger to play? Yeah, I was just like, it was just like oh, God, it's so long. And just like when he was on those little wet rocks, I was worried for him. Yeah. <laughs> he was throwing the gun away. I was like, he looks so old. He looked way too And hard. half of it was them driving around. It's like there's old people driving somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Checking like, into motels. Yeah, people love seeing that in real life. How could this not be compelling? Yeah, yeah. Eggnog family? No. No. Okay. This kid's checking out. I'll tell you and that right I love, now. I love eggnog. Okay. I really do. But like, it was, that's like, I think that's more of an East Coast thing, too. Uh, maybe a Midwest thing, because like, it's not. Like, the first time I had it, I was like, oh, shit, this is great. Yeah. Uh, but. It wasn't like a thing people made. Wasn't or, around. There yeah. wasn't a recipe for it or anything like that. Yeah. Ever been involved in a bikini car wash? I can't recall, but I would. I would bet that I have. Okay. okay. Hmm. Happened so many times. You know, like who remembers every fist fight they were in? <laughs> Growing up, did your mom cut your hair? She has. She had. Yeah. Once did, or twice, but yeah, yeah. Did you ever sure. cut your mom's hair? No. All right. <laughs> no, no, cool. <laughs> Checks. Checks out. All right. Uh, <laughs> I gotta ask. What fucking mother, mother would let their son cut their hair? <laughs> a lot, lot of people in, in Bluebell, Pennsylvania. A lot of people in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Mom uh, really? needs a trim before happy hour. You gotta do her up nice. <laughs> you gotta go find you a new dad. <laughs> yeah. Cut mama's hair. Yeah, go get the rakes in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> go get the hedge trimmers. Get out there, snap uh, it. Real th- that's fuck. certainly not a... <laughs> no. <laughs> that's... Southern that's gentleman. That's so crazy. <laughs> Um, have you ever used spray on deodorant? Oh, for sure, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Me too. I thought it was the cool I you thought ever, it was it. You ever put it on the nethers? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's cold. Yeah, but it works. Mm-hmm. Keeps it fresh. Yeah. I use an anti chafing stick now. I used to put what? cologne down there, so but I gave a girl anti- a urinary tract infection. Tell me, explain this anti-chafing stick. Hey, go- I'm listening. <laughs> You've uh, piqued my interest <laughs> over here, Mr. Foley. What? You don't use it? Oh, it's a game changer. Go on Amazon, anti-chafing. It looks like a deodorant stick. Gold Bond makes one. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. You get out of the shower, you What's dry. What's the brand I don't want to go with? <laughs> <laughs> don't go with Quaker the Vel- State. <laughs> don't, go, <laughs> don't go with the Velveeta Albert. brand. Yeah. <laughs> Kraft Singles makes one that's okay. Yeah. Uh, and you just rub it in there, and it keeps everything dry, so you don't yeah. get that rubbing together yeah. and the, the itchy shit. Yeah. I hate that. The crotch rot. Oh, man. I used to get it so bad when I was a kid at the beach. <laughs> fucking brutal. Just waddling down kid? the fucking yeah, boardwalk. Just, just like you, you're walking weird. Yeah, uh, and, you know, and everybody and you're knows. trying not to, and everybody's like, that, that, yeah. Poor, yeah. that poor kid is burning. Yeah. Right <laughs> you got a fucking jetty in your drawers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of sand crabs yeah. floating around. It's like all the fun of a fucking urinary tract infection <laughs> without any other fun. No shit. Uh, when right. was the last time you had Mountain Dew? Long time. Okay. When yeah. was the last time you had Vanilla Coke? Seriously considered it the other day. But <laughs> it's great. Yeah. It's great. No, it's trash. No, it's great. Dude, Vanilla, vanilla Coke. Coke? It is, here, it's, it's the same of a lot of flavor. Again, like I do like it. Mm-hmm. But it's like it's it's a lot of vanilla. It like, is, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. And it, like so much, that I'm like, I just want, I want more Coke than vanilla. Mm-hmm. So when I get to it, I go Coke. They got like, it right with cherry. Cherry's, cherry's the perfect. Be- cherry's the best one. For cherry's, sure. of cherry's the perfect amount cherry of fucking cherry. Cherry's the best cherry, one for yeah. sure. But you know those uh, super soda machines that you can add all the different flavors. They're from? not great. They fuck up. They fucked up. I think he was up. just about to say he does all the flavors. I do like. 
quite a bit. Uh, you put them all. Uh, no, no, I don't put all of them in there. No, what am I? But okay. some. What do you? What flavor? <laughs> Gentlemen, please, yeah, please, please. And well, I'm that talking guy who here. jumped out of space to Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, about Torres, he flew too close to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> he could never have Coke Zero again. down in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they found 20 grams of blue raspberry in a man. <laughs> <laughs> I got hooked on vanilla Coke when they were launching it. I was in New York, and it was a, it was Labor Day or whatever Fleet Week Launching is. it. Yeah. <laughs> he talks about new sodas like they were sending fucking <laughs> s- spacecraft out. Uh, the- it was Fleet Week on the west side because we were doing like tours of all the ships, and it was like it was probably like a hundred degrees outside. How old were you? Uh, probably twenty six, twenty seven. Okay. I lived up here for a few years before I did comedy. Then I moved to Philly. And started doing comedy, but I was living up here. This was maybe like 2003, 2004, and they were giving away ice cold cans. I mean, they were in. That's the huge condensation. Bins. Oh, just like you ever just plunge your hand into a oh, oh, dude, yeah. a screaming cold yeah. fucking can Put it of on coke? the back of your neck before you open it. Uh, like what? I've never done that. But <laughs> like, yeah. you're, like, you're like you're hot and you're sweating. Yeah. You just put it on the back of your neck. Uh, I did that with a bottle feeling. of water the yeah. other day. Yeah. But dude, an ice cold, screaming cold. Yeah, that's how I got hooked on fucking the vanilla coke. Yeah, there's moments in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucking pretty good. Okay, we got to wrap it up here. Right? We got to wrap it up here. We got to get you out of here. Uh, Can I ask you guys a question, please? Of course. What's the classiest thing you do? The class, like as What's a the th- me yeah. pers- personally. <laughs> yeah. I don't know oh, if I dude, do. Anything. I don't know if I do anything classy. What is something classy? What's the classiest thing you do? The cl- I make my bed every day. Oh, wow. wow. That's real classy. That's real classy. Yeah. I don't know if that is real classy, but that's like, like that's the thing I'm like, this is a nice thing I like to do. Yeah. No, that's yeah, very no, that's good. really classy. I just wanted wow. a little palate cleanser about all the gross shit. <laughs> it's like, dude, wow. I don't pretty... think I do anything classy. I think I choose to do things not trashy, but just do them normal, if that makes sense. Like, if it's like a scale, I'm predisposed oh. to do everything trashy, and it takes me a lot to do something just kind of normal middle of the roadish, yeah. you know. So there's no ceiling, but there is a floor. Yes, <laughs> yes. for sure, for yeah. sure, for sure. I have a house plant that I take pretty good care of. Does that's that good. count? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Dude, we are uh, to fucking me, scumbags. To me, that actually counts. Yeah, because I've never had a house plant that lived. We do take good care of it. I water it every day, and I even went and got a water bottle where I spray the leaves. Water bottle. <laughs> Jeez, fucking mush I just blew it. Union members. I go over there and get some water bottles. Water bottles. But I tell you what, that's something we got to think about. That's a fucking. I don't think really, I do anything classy. Honestly. Really great question. I tip well. Yeah, that's. Ah, a, I tip well. Tip East coasters well. always tip. Well. I, I will tip. like like people from the East Coast. Generally speaking. Are very good tippers. It's because we all, you know, everybody, it's like the wise guy, you know, mafia yeah. thing. Well, I, I also think it's just like, like, you got, like you, restaurant culture is like much bigger true, up true. here. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it's big everywhere for sure. And it's big in Texas, but it's like, I just I feel like East Coast people would just always know somebody whose mom worked in a restaurant. Yeah, or for like, sure. Or for not, sure. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. We, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I hold like, the door open for people. That's just common courtesy. Yeah, that's in the classy. manners. That's like, yeah. yeah. It's not cla- unless you like bow after you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah welcome. <laughs> How was your day, Mr. Wright? <laughs> I was trying to think Welcome of, to Gas Digital Studios. I was trying to think of something else classy I do. I let people in if they want to get in. That's not dude, you wear a, dude, you're, that's that's nice guy stuff. Yeah. You wear a nice watch. It's a nice watch. Is that classy? I watch this to me or big class. Stole I think it. it's trash. Yeah. Stole it from a Walmart two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Never saw it. Got it off a dead Where's guy. Where's a Walmart in New York? <laughs> <laughs> the I gotta go, go all the way Whitestone to get this. <laughs> all right. I gotta say it, Shane Torres. It's fucking classy. This guy's dude. fucking all class. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting this at no. all. He's got a good head on at his all. shoulders. At all, at all. I mean, <laughs> well, you came well, in with I took the, the points. <laughs> 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 they were due. <laughs> Shouldn't have taken the fucking money line. Fuck. Um, yeah, man, the taquitos, obviously, but whatever. That's a food. Yeah, I, I came in. I was a very high dra- dra- draft pick, and then I, I, yeah, I fizzled then, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fizzled out right <laughs> before the fucking All Star game. I'm gonna say, not shocked at a lot of the answers, but your defensive position on things, I think, you know, and your reasoning for everything. It's all flawless. That you do. Yeah, it's all from a good play. Everything flawless. was Yeah, was honestly. Well, what was the trashiest thing I did? <sighs> The sodas is pretty it, bad, but yeah. like all the like, I mean, all the but food choices even. were good. Yeah, I mean, we're not gonna hold you over the coals for fucking 
for, for liking uh, extra chips so, and salsa, or, yeah. Yeah. or a vanilla Coke a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, Everybody's yeah, yeah. got a few blemishes, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, if you're like, ah, I have it every day, I buy 12 or like anything. Yeah. Didn't get you on the grocery store. You had the Velveeta, the colored lights at Christmas. You even flipped the argument on that, which I thought was pretty good, saying that you thought the, the white lights were stale. Uh, I mean, have you ever ordered a Girls Going Wild DVDs? You ever kill a homeless guy? <laughs> Something. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the next group to hang on a second. <laughs> There's that courtyard out there that's it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, bulletproof. Yeah, yeah. I have done had a Girls Gone Wild DVD. <laughs> oh, that's all right, baby. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I got, have a it, I got it from a friend. Point. I got it from a oh, friend. Oh, well, you didn't buy it. That's different. Uh, at some point, it's almost your... worse, don't you think? No, because no. you, know, you get your hands on porn at a certain time period. Yeah, that's it's all different that for guys our age. Yeah, when you yeah. got your hand on one of those Girls Gone Wild tapes, I only ever that jerked was, off to the commercial. That Fucking was weird. Forget about it. What a it. weird thing. Yeah, looking back on that, that was real wrong. Yeah, that guy got like sodom. Yeah, they they ran some dad ran into his house, tied him up, and sodomized him. I was like, "How do you like it?" Type thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ, really? I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, it took a hard left on the uh, end of the comedy <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Funny <laughs> guy over here, huh? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Shane Torres. Thank you, boys, for hundred percent fucking class. I'm telling you right now. Appreciate you. Yeah. Shane, anything you want the folks out there to know you got coming up? You got yeah, just, uh, you know, next time bring the kind of bottled water I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 7-Eleven with uh, the keto this dust drop? on it. Uh, this will be out... Uh, Monday. 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 Yeah. Uh, if you are in New York, we do my show, Good God, on the roof of the Turks and outside, socially distance, all that. Um, on Wednesday nights, 8.30 at the Turks Inn. I also... Um, Conan Colbert, I have some touring dates coming up, but you nice. know, whatever people are coming up with. Uh, you know, whatever people are comfortable with, you know, yeah, I yeah, totally yeah. get it at this point. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm more of a live in person kind of person. And that turned <laughs> okay. out to be a huge fucking mistake for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, re I really should have really? gotten into this, made a stronger digital footprint than I have because I have, uh, fucked myself out of a, <laughs> a lot of, I was like, sell the tickets, baby. Yeah. Things are coming in. Oh, man. And then God took it all away. God damn it. Kippy, what do you got uh, the folks out there need to know? Just always, uh, as I said at the beginning, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes, subscribe on uh, YouTube, full video available there, and Gas Digital Network uh, for our catalog of our past guests. You can subscribe there using promo code AYG. And yes. at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. Yes, sir. At uh, H. Foley and Ice on Twitter, Foley Grams on Instagram. Just to reiterate everything Kevin said, please uh, keep subscribing, keep following, keep sharing the podcast. We love each and every one of you guys. Thanks for tuning in uh, with us every week. We got some big things coming up. Um, and we love you. Shane yeah. Torres. Appreciate you, boys. Fantastic. Thanks, Thank Thanks, you so man. much. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next week, gang. Peace.